side. Uh, and uh, you say, wait, Marla, Greg, you promised the launch replay for us. We stepped outside and saw what we could with all that cloud cover. Well, we'd like to see the launch from what you guys saw. So here's the replay of the Delta IV uh, heavy rocket launching from Space, uh, from Space Launch Complex 37 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station with the Orion test capsule on board. So we have five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff at dawn, the dawn of Orion, in a new era of American space exploration. Hey, what's up you guys? It's MC Legaboy here with my uh, Mars Mission macro figure, which I now realize is busted right there. <laughs> uh, please don't fall, please don't fall. <sighs> so, yes. Um, the story behind this, back in March, all the way back in March, there was a 100-piece figure contest. If you guys remember, that is when Nightmare Moon was uploaded <laughs> to, uh, to mock pages and YouTube and stuff because I had barely a torso and a head and I was already over a hundred pieces with this guy. I don't even know how many pieces are in him now. Considering now he's got a drill and a little crystal containment pack and uh, dude too much stuff in here for that contest. But uh yeah it, pretty pretty crazy um and then it went on hiatus for a few months Worked on it like all throughout the summer, just kind of coming back to it every now and then. It's like, here, let's fix this, let's make the feet bigger, let's, you know, mess around with it, make it look a little better. Come around, I think, September, maybe October, I actually finish everything and I build the drill, but I don't take pictures. I don't know where. I don't remember why I didn't want to take pictures or anything. Oh, I think I, it was because I wanted to make this bag. And it wasn't until um, today, actually, which I'm recording this on Tuesday, uh, December 2nd. This bag, only now did I realize that I could get the strap from a Spider-Man web. Like, I was trying to figure out what to do with this little bag thing. I'll show you guys everything later. It's just, you know, I gotta get the story out there for you guys. And then, on the news, I see that December 4th, which is uh, Thursday, which have, would have already happened because I upload on Fridays, um, hopefully the uh, rocket launched successfully. But uh, on December 4th at 7.05 a.m., in uh, Florida, it was launched, and uh, that rocket is going to be the same type of rocket that's going to be sending astronauts to Mars, which is awesome, because, you know, um, at Mars, dude, I mean, we haven't got people there yet. All we got are robots, so pretty cool. And, uh, you know, science, exploration, adventure! So... <coughs> Oh, man. I sure hope that doesn't happen a lot while I review this. But yes, this guy. Oh, my gosh. Um, insanely hard to keep together. Uh, very hard to keep together. He falls apart like nobody's business. Um, and I secretly just want to die inside, which is not very secret anymore. Every time that he falls over, I swear. I mean, oh. The, the number of times that this guy has fallen over 
is probably equal to the number of parts that are in his build. But yes, um, as you can see, it is based off of the Mars mission figure. And let's see if I can do this without having him fall apart on me. Yeah, man. So, obviously not perfect, but pretty good in my opinion. And, I mean, th this uh, air tank is, is massive. But I'm not sure how well you guys can see his sides. I mean, if I make it dark, then you can't see. I only have one light source because I'm trying to kind of em, 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 emulate, emulate uh, a single light source, the sun. Except, you know, it's not quite to scale as to how far away it would actually be. But still, um, but I've got some strap detail going on in there. You can kind of see it. See, if I were to pick it up and angle just a little bit, you can see you got a strap going across and you got that black whatever it is that's going on right there on his back too. Uh, the hips are gray, got the gold on there for uh, the visor, or the sunscreen visor. So yeah, I mean, very cool. Uh, dude. This, this guy, this guy right here, about to fall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it's kind of key for me. And you guys can't see this because, you know, it's right there. So, we're moving back just a little bit. You can see that this drill is not touching the ground. That is what has taken forever for this guy to stand. He falls down constantly because I've always wanted this drill to not actually touch the ground. Because then... That doesn't make it feel like he's holding it. He's more dropping it. But yeah. As you can see. I mean. Got the little. The little. Classic space swoosh thing. But in the Mars mission style. We've got the little walkie talkie thing. The little buttons and stuff. So. Definitely. One of my favorite things of doing. It, it was a very fun thing to build. I'm glad that I am done building it so that it can stop falling apart on me. Um, before, I'll, like, you can go to Flickr. I've got three work in progress pictures. You can see how I used to have the zipper in there, but it, it didn't quite look right. And the torso was too big. So, yeah. But now we'll, we'll get into uh, some more detail into certain sections. And we'll just let this guy completely fall apart if he falls apart. Hopefully, when we have astronauts on Mars, they will not just fall apart, because that would be awful. Alright, so I'll, I'll show you guys how he, he's very fragile. Like, he will completely fall apart on screen for you guys if, if we're lucky. Or, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> there we go. I mean, this arm is only attached by one stud connection. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. So, yeah. All right. Now he he should be set to stand as soon as we get this all back to normal. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Get back here. I've dropped his hand on the floor. And I'm trying to pick it up. There we go. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Can do. Nope, nope, no. <laughs> this is going perfectly. All right, so. Ooh, <laughs> I broke his head. That's not good. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are hearing Christmas music, I mean, like I said earlier, I am recording this on December 2nd. So, you know, 
Christmas stuff. It's going on right now. <laughs> Oh, nope, 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 no, 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 that's, that's the worst of it all. So, yeah. That's, this is really bad because, especially his, his right leg, I don't know what's up, but the connections on this are very loose. I think part of it is because I did use some illegal, ooh, that, <laughs> some illegal connections going on. So, with them being stuck in their position for six, seven, seven months, eight, close to that number that is between one and twelve. With pieces being stuck for that many months, because, I mean, I know that these pieces have definitely been stuck together for longer than a month on some of these things. They just, oh man, very, very bad. Because now I will probably never be able to use those pieces ever again, especially those clips. I mean... They're just being torn to shreds right now because they're being used illegally and I'm dying inside because of it. But aesthetically, it's not that bad looking. Uh, we'll just call him one arm Jack right now because, dude, this arm does not want to connect. Eh, whatever. I'll, I'll keep messing with it. There we go. Just pop that part off. But as you can see, I mean, studs, they all fit within uh, all of this using the Unikitty Apollo stud, as I've heard it named. It's called the Apollo stud. I, I like that name. It's a cool name. So, yeah. Here's our astronaut as a normal dude, not falling apart on us. As you can see, boots, crazy big and awesome. I like them. I think the main reason why I am not quite as pleased as I could be with the legs is because I don't have the uh, the little tube pieces from the 70s and 80s stuck in there as well because that is what's causing these legs to not really want to stand. The, the biggest problem that I've had is not that he can't stand with these parts forward. It's because he ends up getting a little top heavy and he falls back. And that's what's killing it because there's nothing that's holding this up. He has no tendons in his legs to really help him stand all too well. So let's see if I can... No. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. But I mean, the these tires, they they look really awesome for a uh a spacesuit and I'd say he's pretty proportional. His hands and his feet are a little big. Definitely his hands, but given for what it is that I wanted them to really kind of look like to have the little knobs on the tips of the fingers and to have enough fingers on there to make you think, "Oh, hey, there's a thumb and some fingers on there." I say it's pretty good. And if I if I had really wanted um Benny's spaceship 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 I would have the Unikitty uh one by one plates that are gold, but I don't think it looks all that bad as uh as just a white line being down in there. I mean it doesn't feel unrealistic, I guess. And he's kinda got a bit of a halo helmet going on. Which I kind of like. I, I don't play Halo. I've played it once because my my step cousins are evil, and they said, "Oh no, you'll be fine. You know how to play video games." It's like I don't know how to play video games, guys. Come on, not cool. But I am. I'm not totally out of the loop. I do know what some things are. But what is causing this to be problems? All right. 
Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, tons of snot work going on all over this, which is why I'm kind of proud of him. There, There's more of that detail on the side. Before, it was just a whole bunch of empty space, which doesn't look good. And I am so happy that I got the Tentro Mixel, because those pieces are awesome. Um, I, I did try putting in playability. Posability? Um, I mean, like, he's a good standing figure. Like, right now, he's doing an awesome job. As soon as you put this in his hand, forget it. But I did try putting in uh, the playability of... I don't know, is it, how, how does this work? I don't remember. Where are my extra pieces? I've got, I've got a few extra pieces that you hook into the hands so that, yeah, I, I'm a little farther away from the desk than I usually am, so. Some things may not quite be in frame with the cameras and such, but I, I try my best to get the playable function. I'm trying to figure out how I had this before. How, how does this work? How do, how do I science? Um, it is no, I, you know, I I remember how I had it before. I'm trying to remember. It goes like that, and it goes like that. Yes, yes, I do remember how this works. And it's actually the lower one that it's supposed to be on. But, nope, you just take off his entire arm. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong, that's the wrong area to clip. That's wrong. <sighs> so how are you guys doing? You guys having uh, some good builds going on right now? Oh, 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 dropping more pieces on the floor. Kind of feel like this is a Shadow Gear review at the moment. Not that he is constantly messing up, but like on the ones that he knows are falling apart every time that he tries to review them. I mean, that sometimes there'll be these long videos like this is being right now. Oh, that also broke. Oh, man. <laughs> this was a terrible idea to try and review this guy, but I want you guys to, to get a real sense as to how this guy works. But... See, he can, he can hold things, you know. So you use an Apollo stud for the Ux slime. And then we will now go on to the last parts, which are the accessories outside of, you know, the things that clip onto his belt and the slime. So let's get all of those pieces out of the way. We'll leave that in his hand, the little walkie-talkie thing. Or scanner, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so we'll save the drill for last because I kind of think that that's cooler. But I took uh, one of those containment cell things that you would actually throw crystals in. This is the one that's for the crystals, believe it or not, um, from the dropship set. I don't know, I, I liked Mars Mission as a theme, just not as much as Aquarators, and Aquarators was the one that died first. It's not fair. But yes, this thing. Using white brackets from the X-Wing from, uh, blah, 2003, three, three, yeah, because it's old gray pieces in that set. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, the one that came with Yoda's Hut, yeah, that's a cool set. Um, but yeah, using those, you're able to put on things, you know, science, math, science. But yeah, that, that's essentially what you do. You just hold down that one section, you twist for a door to close, and then you do that to as a locking function. So it, it's, it's nice, and we've got some insectoids, crystals, and some regular crystals going on in there. So... But I, I wanted it to, to make sense. It's like, he's got a harness crystals. Where does he put them? Because, I mean, he doesn't really have a backpack. Because, well, his oxygen tank is taking up all of the space for a backpack. So. 
But now we get on to the coolest of the things, and let me cough first. <clears throat> or almost cough, I don't know. That was more clearing my throat than coughing, but, you know, uh, let's see. Let's, let's get this to where I'm able to uh, shock and amaze you all, but... Yeah, check out this drill. I mean, it's a it's pretty awesome looking in my it, it's like part Gatlin gun, part drill. But yeah. Um and there was there was a time there was a time that I was able to get I don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there was a time to where I could get this to fit in his hands, and he was able to hold it, and he looked awesome. Except, I think when I actually finally made a final version of the drill, it did not want to work. So, yeah. But, I mean, this is... This, I think he clips on there so that he looks like he's grabbing onto this. So... If you were actually holding this, you'd be hanging on here, and then this would be your little thumb trigger going on, and you'd be holding it like that. So, yeah, like this. Pretty much like the rotary cannon things from Star Wars, the Clone Wars. So, yeah, really cool. And, you know, I mean, because these were light gray, I felt like I needed to add some more light gray bits all over this, just so that it didn't really feel out of place. But then I also threw in some dark gray bits because, you know, it, it looks better. And now we get to the really cool part. It actually spins. See, I'm putting in playability. It's just that this guy is not a safe thing to play with. <laughs> but yeah, I, I this was a uh, necessity. Um, it One of the few times I actually sketch anything out and... It, the first thing on the list was like make sure that you're able to make this thing spin so we've got a gear on that side that spins a gear within the thing which then makes the drill spin so kind of proud of that because it, it looks so cool and I mean like what's going on with this I don't know but it looks neat and it, yeah, like, ah, I, I, I love this drill. This might be one of those things that possibly stays together for a while or forever. Like my, uh, my Jedi Domo, uh, lightsaber, that thing is still together. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well, come on, get your act together. Uh, yeah, th this, it, it can move on its own, I think. I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be like that, though. So. But, yeah. Um, other than that, oh, yes. There are, I think, three of, uh, like, ten of the pieces that you are encouraged to use to gain up to five points, five extra points in the 100-piece figure contest three I use I was able to get three I was hoping to get four but I don't have the piece around here with me to show you guys but it, it was pretty it's it's um it came out with classic space it was like the one piece that's got three little cones on it that piece I wanted to use it, but I couldn't figure out where to put it into where it actually felt like it, it could work. So I, I decided not to include that into this one. But I was able to include the um, the oxygen tanks on the knees, which definitely helped fill out the legs. Because I had no idea what to do with those in that area. Because I couldn't find any more of these little rubber uh, things. Um, those are... Uh, number two of the three pieces that I used and I used two colors too and then the final piece the spring I, I wanted this originally it was supposed to be able to um oh wait no actually 
was this? This might have been, I think this was a piece. So I was able to actually get in four. And then um, there's that piece right there that's actually holding up this section that comes up. You know, you, Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That one circular piece that's got other circular pieces going on. Yeah. I mean, I'm using some of the pieces I got from Chima to use, some pieces from Mixels that I was able to use, some pieces I, I didn't think I was ever going to really use ever for anything. Um, I was able to use the one by one round tiles. I mean, it's really cool. And I'll take off his head because why not? Kind of give you guys an idea as to how crazy this thing looks. Oh, that's not good. So, yeah. Things falling apart all over the place. So, I guess I should be ending the video before this guy falls apart anymore on me. Because, yeah. That would be bad. But, if, if the contest was just to make a figure it didn't matter what the size was as long as it was able to be a posable thing dude this would have been awesome but tom remy he he's a beast he he was able to make something awesome so congratulations to him but yeah i hope that uh whenever i upload this to mock pages, which would have already happened to you guys, but um, that they'll allow me to throw this in the group because everybody has been waiting for me to put this on on there, but I just haven't gotten around to doing anything with it. So yes, this has been MC Lego Boy with my uh, Mars mission macro figure. See you guys. Yes, I have a good time.